Hi, one best beer videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the main card of UFC 189. We are talking with Nick Kalikas and uh, Brian Hemminger calling in over the phone. Both of them come to us from MMAOddsBreaker.com. All right, guys, Brandon Thatch and Gunnar Nelson. Uh, this is a fight that has me scratching my head a little bit. To be honest here, Brandon Thatch is a favorite, a pretty significant favorite of minus 180. Nelson on the other side, plus 158. Both these guys are talented prospects who are coming off of losses. Uh, you know, Nelson's uh, star has has dimmed a little bit uh, since a couple years ago. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's coming off of a tough loss to, uh, to Rick Story. But... Can he bounce back? I think he can. I don't quite see why he should be this big of an underdog. Plus 158, Brian Hemminger. Do we think we have another uh, underdog here with some betting value? Not this time. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gunnar Nelson, to me, he's a good fighter. He's a really talented grappler, but he's still fighting in the wrong weight class. He's mm -hmm. been undersized his entire career at welterweight, and he's been performing admirably against bigger guys, but he finally faced a bigger, stronger guy in Rick Story that he couldn't deal with, and that kind of showed his ceiling in the welterweight division i think if he ever is going to be a legit title threat it's going to be in the lightweight division and he's just too stubborn to admit it so we'll see what happens but i think uh brandon thatch is just gonna be way too big for him and way too long for him to be able to to get inside and drag him to the ground so i okay, actually think uh thatch has value but thatch had a uh, had a big size advantage in his last fight and that didn't work mm -hmm. out for him at all right he did but you got to remember he was dominating the first three rounds of that fight against Benson Henderson. Mm -hmm. And this is a three round fight, not a five round fight like the last one. And yeah, he slowed down right at the end and he really slowed down in the fourth round. And then that's when Benson Henderson got him to the ground and tapped him out. And Benson Henderson is better wrestling than Gunnar Nelson. Maybe not as, as good as submissions, but I think since this is a three round fight, you're not going to see Brandon Thatch slow down. So he'll be able to go hard for all three rounds. It's going to be a lot tougher for Gunnar Nelson to get him down than it was for Benson Henderson in the fourth, which won't even exist in this fight. All right, great arguments, uh, uh, Brian Hemminger. Uh, Nick Kalikas, two prospects coming off of a loss. Is this a dog or pass situation or no? Hard to say, honestly. It's tough because I think it's a pass-pass situation mm -hmm. here because okay. of, the, of what it amounts to. It's really difficult because you got two fighters thatch had a crazy amount of hype i mean since he again made his ufc debut a lot of people were expecting this guy i mean he's a killer on the feet no doubt about mm -hmm. it he's he's tremendous he's hard to deal with the amount of pressure he puts on you and his ability to knock you out with anything i mean punches elbows knees kicks the guy has it all on the feet and he's dangerous he's got the size the power uh, the wrestling to go along with it so he's a tough out and the hype around him has been something special to be honest with you i mean we're always having to post some pretty competitive lines or uh, some pretty high lines when it, it comes to uh, Thatch in most cases, but now they're starting to get more competitive fights, of course, with the fight with Bendo, which was a test. Now, let's not forget, Thatch in that fight was fighting a guy that was coming from 155, and he had a huge size advantage over Bendo, and he still managed to lose that fight, even though he was pretty much dominating that fight up until you know the latter part of that, that fight, the later portion, like Brian just mentioned as well. Um, but in my opinion, I, there was there was still a lot of question marks with Thatch. Can he go three strong rounds? I, I mean, his last fight was five rounds, and again, he, the cardio did start coming into play later. But to me, he proved that he can put on an aggressive pace for three rounds. So that's one question they got answered. Now, five rounds is a different story of those championship rounds. I think he still has to, you know, there's still question marks behind that. And he still has to prove to us that he can, you know, his cardio is going to be strong going five because it looked like he was starting to obviously slow down big time there. But still, I think this is a three-round fight. He is going to push a high pace. But the question mark here is, I mean, Gunnar Nelson, another guy that has a ton of hype around him. And since he made his UFC debut again, he's got the jiu-jitsu background, world-class jiu-jitsu background that we all know about. Uh, he's got that awkward karate style that seems to be effective in most cases on the feet as well. So you got two guys that are coming together that have had enormous amount of hype. Um, so it was hard to even set the line here, according to where the public would go. Um, I said it minus 160 for Thatch, and it's since been bet up. So that's not really that much of a surprise. But Gunnar Nelson does demand some respect. But it tells you how much impact that story loss had on uh, Gunnar Nelson. Because if he didn't you know, physically get beat like he did and didn't struggle in that fight, if he came away with a win and another impressive win, I don't think we'd be seeing this line like this, to be honest with you. All right, Brian Hemminger, so is this a complete pass for you? Or is there any kind of bet, a prop, or the total that you think might have some kind of uh, attraction to you as far as betting value is concerned? There's a couple. Uh, Nelson... Basically, if Nelson wins, it's probably probably be by submission because that's just how he wins almost every one of his fights. Mm -hmm. So that prop is actually really good. I think uh, Nelson by submission right now is 
Nelson by submission right now is plus 250. And if Thatch wins, it's either going to be by decision or by knockout. And right now, Thatch by TKO or KO is plus 150. So you get plus money both ways. So actually, I think either of those are the most likely possibilities. So this might be a fight to better prop. All right. Interesting thoughts, guys. Thanks. Thanks.